Welcome to this short introduction video to Odeon 10.1 Combined. I'm Klaus Lund Christensen, Research and Development Director at Odeon AS. I start out by going to the file Import from File menu. I select the MioDXF sample, accept to import it, and get the Import DXF file menu. In this intro, I will just use the default settings and import the geometry. There you go, we have imported the geometry and we can proceed and define a source and a receiver in the source receiver list. Press the new point source and we'll position a source at the front of the stage. I want to put it at a height of 1.2 meters above the stage. Let's proceed and define a receiver. We want to put this receiver in the audience area at a height of 1.2 meters above this audience area. For this we use the Align Expert, enter 1.2 meters, and there you go. We have defined the source and the receiver. We can proceed and assign materials to the geometry. We do this in the Materials list. In the Materials list, the left-hand side is a list of the different surfaces in the room, the right side of the material list is a list of materials. Let's assign 10% absorbing materials to all surfaces. We can then use the layers which were imported with the geometry to assign some other materials to the audience area. I use audience medium of posted seats. And we can assign another material, plywood, to the side reflectors in the room. There you go. We have assigned three different materials to the room surfaces and we can make our first calculation, the quick estimate calculation, which is Sabine, Oring and Arau Bukades calculations of reparation time. The result is around 1.8 second and we can use this value to specify an impulse response length which will be used when we later on calculate parameters such as polarity, lateral energy fraction and reparation time based on impulse responses. We also use impulse responses for calculation of oralization I have entered the room setup and I specify the impulse response length of 1800 milliseconds. Let's proceed to the job list where we define where we will be looking in this simulation. We define our receiver position and we can make our calculation. While calculating we can have a look into the room in the OpenGL display. Here you see the acoustic colors of the different surfaces in the room. Grayscale surfaces are flat frequency response. Colored surfaces have a frequency coloration. Dark surfaces are absorbing sound, while light surfaces will reflect sound. So you get a pretty clear view of the absorption properties of the room. The result has been calculated and we can listen to the impulse response. And we can listen to a signal convolved with this impulse response at our receiver position. We can select different receiver positions. We can listen to the input signal. And we can select other signals. Thank you for taking the time to watch this short introduction video to Odeon 10.1 combined. 